Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and this is Unreal Engine 4 minutes tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make vertigo effect. Vertigo effect, other, uh, also known as uh, dolly effect, is a filmmaker's trick. I can show you here in Charlie's Angel. This. This is the trick when you change the um, focal length of the lens, but also change the distance of the camera. So in Unreal, it will look like this. I connect it to the speed of the character. So every time character speeds, I apply this vertigo effect. And we can make it even more than regular, even more than what I have now. Not like this, like this. And this is really, really easy, so let's get right into it. Let's open our first person character. I already have it open, but you can do it like this. I already have this here, but we're gonna recreate it from the beginning. So, first of all, we have to get our tick, which is not here. So we just type tick and get our tick event that will spawn uh, events every frame and we get our character movement so we grab it with control and drag it to the blueprint graph and get velocity and we get velocity uh, and this is velocity in vector but we don't need vector because it's also give us direction we don't need direction we only need speed so we get length of this vector there's probably somewhere a speed of character, but I just do it like this. And we have the speed of the vector. And since our movement right here is set up to maximum 600, I know that this maximum uh, value of this will be 600. So I, I will map it, map reach clamped, and I know that it goes between zero when our character stands still to 600 when he moves, uh, when he runs. So I already know that I want to uh, map this value between 0 and 600. Okay, and now I get uh, my camera boom, because first thing we need to change the distance between camera and uh, what camera sees. So uh, we get the length, set target at arm length. And um, default camera length, camera boom is 300. So let's say it's going to be 300 how it is when character stands still. So when the speed is zero and then we're going to create, let's say it's going to be 250 because we shorten the length, but also we create a variable out of it. Why I type 250 first? Because when I promote it to variable and I name it uh, arm length, this value right here, it's gonna already have 250. And I'm gonna make it public so I can change it in the, in the scene. And I'm gonna plug it here. And another thing, what we have to change is we are gonna have to change the uh, focal length of our lens. So we get our camera and get focal. No, 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 it's not focal, it's something else. Uh, what do we have here? Field of view, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I, what I mean is field of view, not uh, focal length. So um, our field of view is 90. So again, we get the same value and we plug it to clamped and it's between zero and 600 and default is, as we check the focal, default focal uh, field of view, I'm sorry, is 90, which is in degrees. So let's type 90. But when we speed speed up, it's going to be, let's make it wider. So the camera distance is getting closer and the camera uh, lens is getting wider. So let's type 110 because it is in degrees. And let's plug it here. And let's promote it to variable and say it 
field of view, which is also known as FOV. FO field of view. Yeah. Okay. And it is also gonna be and they are here. Default is 300, arm length, default is uh, 90, field of view. So we already have a change. So let's check how it works. Yeah, it works. But there is thing, it's kind of choppy. I mean, not choppy, but it changes too rapidly. So what we can do is we can use nice thing, which is called uh, Finterp, which is float interpolation and we can choose Finterp2 or whatever, we can choose the other one, it doesn't matter, we can change the settings. So, uh, we need to get our camera boom current target uh, length, so, so current we plugged here, and our target, we're gonna plug it here, and then we're gonna plug it here. Also, we need to our delta seconds, we can either get it from here or we can just get delta seconds node, get world delta seconds here. I prefer it this way because I don't have long lines in my graph. And also interp speed, let's promote it uh, and let's name it to inter, interp speed. Let's make it 10 as a default and also make it public. And all those things, we're going to copy it because we need exactly them here as well. So, not here, but here after our interpolation, uh, after our uh, map. So this is going to here. Um, when I'm changing, I'm pressing control so I can uh, unplug and plug the line somewhere else. So current value, also we need to get field of view, yes, uh, and plug it to current, and this is going to be our target. All delta seconds inter speed are the same, and now let's find out how that works. I guess it is a bit smoother, but not big enough, so let's make it really slow, like two, and let's check now. Yeah, I think it's too slow, so let's make it five. I think it's great. Uh, we can also try to do it other way around, because now we are uh, shortening our uh, camera distance and uh, making, making the field of view uh, wider, but we can do it the other way, so make it... Uh, the distance shorter and let's make the field of view narrower. It has, it doesn't have so much impact. Also, I don't have a, any nice long uh, environment to see, to see the changes. Maybe we can do it even more. Let's do it even more. Yeah. The point of it is to have the our character the same um, the same size all the time. But let's make it like really really stupid. Yeah, we can make it something like, look at those stairs, how long they are now. Yeah, this this is really cool. So yeah, please play with that. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe. I'm going to make more tutorials now. I'm going, going back to it. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.